Hello, this is Old Crow Balthazar, and welcome to Balthazar Strategic Arcana. Uh, so this is my multiplayer test with Unfortunate Son with Lothos's Total Realism Project mod for Strategic Command where we're two world at war. It's a multiplayer test. Now I will have a video that will go up before this kind of uh, showcase and this mod I've been working on since July. It's now October 1st when I'm doing this, uh, doing this recording. Uh, just to, it is gigantic. This is a precursor to a gigantic, to uh, a gigantic version of Strategic Command World at War. Uh, this is going to be turn 93 or turn 94. I think August 30th, 1942. Mind you, there are 30 turns in a year here. They're simultaneous. It is very granular. This map that we're using is is uh, the War in Europe map, but it also has Africa. And we already had an Africa cam campaign, and I, I will kind of get in a little bit of what I where we've been. <laughs> it's been epic. But right now, I decided to record this because I had three different operations that are, that are going on. And... Uh, it's going to be intense. So I may meander a little bit because, uh, like I said, I've done some other recordings, but they weren't intent for YouTube. They were intended for uh, to find bugs or any anomalies, and I was going to use them to uh, send them to Lothos. So I haven't ha had to do that. Uh, anyway, Unfortunate Ray is playing the Axis. I'm playing the Allies in the Soviets. It's very granular. There's a lot of, lot of uh, mechanics that are a little bit different. Uh, a lot of it, I figured we'll just, we'll just play this because I, I know he's going to want to see it. Uh, we did, this is an earlier version of the TRP for War in Europe uh, where research was progressing too fast. He fixed that. And there's a lot of other changes he did, uh, some based on our uh, recommendations and uh, taxmen's too. That's, that's a vicious ship that's spotting me. We're not at war with them, but we occupied all Vichy, all the other Vichy states. We're going to have a big battle up here in Norwegian Sea. It's on the convoy line. He has dogged me, uh, dogged my convoy line. And I have an operation called Operation Blackjack. I just went up here to go hunt him down. He's, Germans got a carrier. Also, they built it. Oh, he did get into the carrier. He's had submarine swarms up here. I got a bunch of task force. I knew I was going to get into it. We're going to try to eliminate these subs, and if we, if, he, if we get lucky, yeah, he's going to be in trouble. He had a carrier on the way up here. I, I spotted it. See if he's going to come in, because if he does, I'm going to kill it. Top priority. Wow, nice hit. Also, there's a big operation. The Axis decided not to go after Stalingrad. They went after Leningrad, and we've had titanic battles. The first winter was tough for the Germans and for the Soviets. I mean, we managed to push them back in some places. We were going to go with that when we do the East Front. And I'm also getting ready to do an operation uh, against Sicily. Oh, I lost the ship. Yep. I think he's had two different groups of... of uh, German ships up here, yeah. We're going to be in a hard fight. There's the carrier. He did move it. He was by. He was by Norway. Free French destroyer flotilla. So it did come out of Norbit. I'm not quite clear I, um, exactly what he has out here. Oh shit, he might lose his carrier. I've already lost two down in the med. He devastated the Italian fleet, or so I thought. He brought the Luftwaffe down in Italian, and the remnants of the Italian fleet he went and attacked me. <clears throat> did we catch there? Okay, here's the Eastern Front. So this whole line from Narva to Leningrad, he took back, he brought a panzer army up here. I had already pushed him in the winter, our winter counteroffensive all, all the way back to Luga. 
also has been a big battle in Canada, Alaska. He uh, cut the Murmansk Railroad and we have pushed him back. And we, we've taken the Canada, Alaska north. We should see something. The way infantry fights here is different than the other games. It's pretty much just a, a, a slug match. You really can't you really can't burn down infantry with the infantry. You get a lot of experience though. You need to use tactics in this game. You gotta use artillery, you gotta use planes. There's a lot of upgrades you can put upgrades, uh, anti-tank upgrades on infantry. Oh, that's the first time I've actually damaged one of these guys. Uh, not with tanks. But, well, I have substantial reinforcements that are coming. Yeah, he has pushed me all the way back close to Lingo. Let's see if he gets in that swamp. He's trying to break that fork, but if I reoccupied, I got it. But yeah, I did a counteroffensive, took back Luga, and actually got into Estonia. Down here on Moscow, I had took back Tula and Kaluga, and he took it back. But we, we've been, anyway, it's been going back and forth. He had taken Rice up, but in the wintertime, I was able to recapture that. It was difficult, let me tell you. I, I managed to kill some of his tank cores here because he got stuck in the mud and he couldn't get them to extract them. You know, there's these. Since there's so many turns, you got a lot more time to move. And the other thing is no mobility upgrades. You can buy motorized units. They're already in the queue if they're available. Like I said, I'm gonna. Ha I'll have a another. Uh, I have an episode that'll come up before this is kind of introducing this. Oh, I'm gonna use this guard unit. So I'll just push down. There. He pushed really hard and Voronessa almost lost it. But I counterattacked back on him here. On there and pushed him back. But Got some swing music in the background. It's pretty low. I didn't really want to have it too loud. Some 40s music. Yeah, this has been a weak link here. I had to move units off and there's no town. So if I get new units, I have to march them in. But here's the Voronesh. I call it the step front. Yeah, I thought he was going to come out of here with everything he had. Go down to the Caucasus, it didn't work. I thought I left it, actually left it kind of thin. He's still bound to take Voronesh. I actually diverted some troops up uh, out there, and I diverted some troops out here. I was able to take Canada, Alaska. This has been crazy. Here I got, I had Russians get into Norway. I crossed, the, crossed and cut his line and put sound over it. Now we're going to get that. There's been, I took on all of North Africa. There's been titanic air battles down by Sicily. I'm going to go try to take Sicily. It's been very difficult. I've uh, conquered most of the busy states. I'm at war with Iraq. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on when there's an, like I said, we, I started this the first week of July and it's October 1st. And we were, sometimes you pull one turn a day, sometimes two or three, especially in uh, the long, in the winter sometimes. And other times it's two or three days off. Okay. We just lost an escort carrier. That's the way France, East and West. Okay. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the map. And mind you, when it's World at War, it's gonna be huge. Okay. Yeah, I've got to look at look at some things. So we're gonna go all, all the way out. I'll tell you what we got going. <laughs> so here's Africa. We took back we took back Italian East Africa, South Africans. It was a long, slow campaign, and we were able to defeat Rommel. Uh, one of the things that happened with the older this older version was um, the malt effect was too strong and the winter effect for uh, the Germans was too weak. Uh, so he's moderated that. Uh, but then again, I almost lost my ass here. I, my, I had one armored core here against Rommel's armored core in a division and I was down to like one hit point. If I would have lost that it would have been a different deal because I had ousted the Italians and got into Tobruk and it was a big back and forth here. I managed to overcome them barely. But once they crumbled, 
was quick. And I had the, the Americans land down here and take Senegal and Mauritania. They're all busy. British came in and, and, and here and we uh, landed and, and or invaded Tunisia before. That was the first one down. Uh, the Vichy French are at 70%. Anyway, we had Titanic air battles back and forth. That looks like he had pushed the Luftwaffe out of here uh, because I started to get, get one over on him here. Uh, looks like he moved units out of here too. Anyway, he had a lot of air assets here. Uh, I think we're going to go do the Navy thing first. Uh, we got a cap on research too. The, with this version, research was going a little too fast. He's fixed that too. Uh, but So we put a cap on research. We're... we're we're at what we think would be a very, very uh, great, uh, generous for, for 1942, uh, like we got level tank threes. Uh, should be able to get that with the Germans about now, maybe, maybe, and with the Russians, maybe, but uh, we're at par, uh, so we're doing that. And as a test, also, I'm doing a cap on ASW at two, as we tried to convince Lothos, if you're watching Lothos, I know you're going to be watching uh, that. Even we wanted the Germans to start at sub tech one. Well, I'm I'm trashing his subs, and he's at sub tech three. So anyway, we got to look at all this. Uh, this also this mod is based uh, the foundation of uh, Crispy's 13, 13, 13s. Excellent fall waste mod and Cypress's uh, counters now. This guy didn't get sunk. Fuck. We got to get you out. I have different task force. There's a battleship here. There's a carrier. So he moved him. He's got two. Did he build two carriers? I didn't know they could do that. No, oh, wait. Well, I don't know. Wow, 24, huh? Hmm. Let's go look at the Italian Sea. They still got a, a small but potent Navy. Yeah, I sunk five of their battleships. One in a big couple of bat series battles early on. Well, I don't know. I want to go after these, but we got to save our carrier. Let's see here. Yeah, look at this. Is I got sub. Uh, I've got ASW two, and this is what we can do. I think we should go after this carrier. Tell you the truth, but I lost my. I got a sub. We're gonna go see if we can find it. If we can sink these carriers, I'm just gonna do it. Let's go towards the ping. He does have a variety of... No. Hmm. Maybe we should sink what we can get. Well, one thing we wanted was subs. Okay. Well, let's clear out the subs that we can find. It's bad weather too. Mm. He's got two task forces. Damn it, bad weather. Okay, let's see if we can get you out. Let's do Alpha Strike this. If we can. Blast!
Okay. See the bow cruiser. Sub infested waters. Well, you lucky dog, I tell you. I'm gonna get you out. Let's see if we can sink ourselves a cruiser in my Yeah, attacking in bad weather like this, it's not going to be like we want. My you, you are damaged goods, but we got to, you got to be a trailblazer, so... Is my broken carrier here? Okay. There's a lot to it. We don't want to break off this engagement entirely. Okay. Oops. Yeah, this bites. Thank you. Okay. Damn it. He's got us spotted. Oh, I didn't see that. Is there anything I can hit? No, to extract ourselves out of here. Yes, now these guys, 
I keep them here. I don't uh, just as a because I'm going to be bringing troops over from the United States. Let's uh, put you right here. I haven't seen any sub activity at all. Let's get you staged back here. Okay. We're not slinging stuff. Let's go do. Oh, I got Brazil. Oh, I certainly do. How much money has Americans got? I'm going to need these ships. Uh, we'll come back to that. Let's go do, uh, I'm calling this Operation Lantern. Now, <clears throat> it's raining offshore, but not inside, huh? Well, and he's got these damn busy ships here shadowing me. I'm not going to war deck them. I need to get into Sicily. So, what do we, what do we have here? We have Armor Corps and an Armor Corps. All right, he has he has his uh, Luftwaffe is gone though. Well, let's go see what else he's got. Yeah, they're not here. All right. He had a maritime bomber. I think he rem or oh, he moved him here, not in Corsica. He had a lot of loof off here, they're back here. Okay, we gotta get into Sicily. So, let's see what the, I should have a headquarters, there's Alexander. So let's go in. Could do the Americans first. Actually, the Americans got uh, AVL4. That's motorized core. That didn't work out. Things are gonna be a little dicey for a little bit, huh? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, not close enough to do an AVL strike, but we're close enough. Let's get Alexander in then. Yep. You got a good air cap. Where's the air? Army Corps. Damn, that's some bad casualties. All right, fine. Can't bomb the docks. Sir. Right. Here we go. Well, you were close enough. Oh, not quite.
free French. suck for a while. No, oh, no it isn't. That's right. We just landed. I don't think we need to bring any aircraft in yet. All right. <clears throat> so, this is going to be a fight for Sicily. I just love this. All right. We took some big damage here with the with our aircraft now. There is an Italian Navy. I don't know where he's ducked them up here. Let's go look at the reports real quick. Oh, wait. Let's go look at uh, Italy. And yeah, I did reduce them pretty good. Boy, look at the German Navy, though, again. Yeah, we got to see Syracuse and Palermo. Okay, we can do that. Should we? And the other thing is he's been bombing our ports down here. Uh, one thing is this, uh, with the new correction, it's supposed to be a port of bone. I don't remember. There's another one, too, that's missing. Uh, oh, Gabe's here. Anyway, he has been bombing the hell out of me. So... Uh, yeah, so I had to do these ABLs from sh long range. Okay, let's go ahead and when we got Montgomery here, but we're holding him for bigger and better things. So let's go and see who's in command. I, uh, let's go see. You're at eight. You're a seven. Let's take you off. I'm gonna get an infantry unit over there. I don't have any motorized. Okay. Well, it's over here. I don't need you. Do I? No. Can't do it anymore. I need you by a port. Let's take this French unit and put it here. Oops. Let's get you over here. I'm going to get you over here. Alright. Let's go ahead and re We could fly you over. Oh, we could bomb. Oh. I thought it was rained. Oh, it's not raining in terror? Oh, hell. Uh, I could have gotten a port. Damn it. Oh, well. This is our first big landing. And one thing that's really cool is fighters can get ground fat or ground attack. Okay, it's shattered. Okay. Yeah. No, no need. He's got an aircraft. And what else you got? Can't reach you. Let's do this operation. We're gonna we're not done with the med, but let's do this with Iraq. So bombing shit out of Baghdad that there's nothing left. I Whoa. No no no. That's what's left. Now let's bomb it. 
Man, I sure love this. It's granular, let me tell you. All right, and we're moving very slow. Okay. Yeah. Not much support. That's Those are ground huggers. I don't think I really need to s send those guys, do we? Uh, is there going to be parsing problems here? Yeah, Mosul. And I've got these may move really slow. Let's go ahead. And you can't force march them, but we can do this. Yeah, okay. And we take these railroads, and we can move people in the walls. I don't think I need you. No, I'm going to send you back. You're South African, but <clears throat> no, we got it. Got it. All right. Now, let's go back to the med. see ground attack with the fighters but we're gonna need I used you okay let's get you in I'm gonna reinforce you reinforce you no So I could have checked Palermo, but that's okay. Next turn. Hopefully you survive. Hopefully, or maybe it'll rain. Now, I've been having to hold this port down. i got to get a unit in here. Constantine, there's a pars in here. Uh, Vigi. And uh, so the rail line's broken. Yeah, another couple turns. But I saw... Uh, that's where Bazillions might come in. Let's go... Before I, I'll come back here, let's go a bit down to Brazil real quick. I don't know how much of a priority. I think the ships are the priority. Let's go and upgrade this light cruiser. Yeah, Germans, Navy. I've lost, the British have lost a lot in the, land, or in the Mediterranean. And now, oh yeah, this is going to be expensive. But let's go ahead and do the ships. Wait till we get to the east front. That Titanic crap. But it's not crap. It's fun. That's a security unit we could use in some of these rear areas like in North Africa. Right, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Uh, how much do I got left? Not too upset. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've been playing this since July, man. And casually, you know, it's not. I'm not narrating or anything. I've, I'd spend hours. Now, do we need these cores? No, I don't want to spend money on them yet. This, though. We can't upgrade you because you're not on anything, right? Are you? On, not on, you're not on town. Oh, well, they're fighters, Brazilian fighters. We could send them up to England or down over here. I don't know yet. Uh, this is French Guinea, and just to show you, I've been buying free French here. They don't make a lot of money though. French colonies. They show up in French Guinea. So I've been buying some of the ships, small ships, but they, like I said, they don't generate very much income. They got 110. Uh, yeah, and these are all garrisons, Cameroons. Oh, there's one there. I don't need any of that. Yeah, I know you're wait. You can't wait. Fight Germans and Hungarians. So he had two task force here. So I almost, I, well, I thought I had him trapped, but apparently no. 
Yeah, I thought it was all right here, and I knew I thought another one was here. It was out. He had it out here. Look at this. He did spread them out. Well, uh, yowza, no protection. All right, let's go here. Make sure everybody's covered. It's raining. Oh, that's right. They got the mod, the base mod down. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's explore this for a second. I did take some damage. Let's go bomb Dortmund. See what happens. Oh, he's got an aircraft right now. He didn't before. See how much damage I'm gonna get. I got two to bomb three. Oh, that was a bad hit. No, not worth it. No. No, 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 no. I want to provoke... Okay, well, let's do something different. Um, okay. Oops. We can always send them down to the med. Let's see. Oh. He can see if I put some here. I think we can wait. We need fighters. Let's wait on that. So, but what we could do. Let's fly you down here. Maybe we could start dinking on stuff. I want to see, because I was chewing up his fighters with this weather effect thing there. He's got an aircraft there. Yeah, let's go see what we can provoke. Three, two. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, see, you can do, I can strafe now. Yeah, that actually is meaningful. Well, let's strafe. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. Oh, fuck. That was stupid. I want him to come out after me. That was bad. All right. I just learned my lesson. Stay there. Okay. Yes, that was bad. I got an AVL. AV, I mean. Oh, I thought it was an AVL. God damn. No, 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 no. You got to land. Well. I certainly need something constant. I'd really like to have, have this artillery over, uh, at least by a port. I got stringers. Hmm. That's too much. Let's move you here and get you here. We'll send you over to tennis and then we'll rail you. And we'll get into Constantine. But we got a whole Constantine, so it looks like that. Let's see what else I got cooking. Oh, yeah, Ethiopian. We'll come back because I'm going to go look over everything. Uh, yeah, 101 for the Americans. Moving in Iraq. Okay, now the big, the big bells. So we'll get up, go look at this here. 
So we've had battles going on back and forth. And I was able to push them through in the last winter, well, last winter, and get into Carkeens. Here, he he surprised me. I knew he had something cooking. But he broke through and got in Canada, Alaska, and moved all the way up to Monchigorsk. He was here, and down here, and I had to, I had to I had to sell sell units in here. It was cut off, and it was it was not good. And then during the winter, I lost my convoy because uh, their arch angle was iced over. But I was able to get start here, and muster here, and push him back. It has been a hell of a bell. And I don't need all this right now. I just got to restore the line, and we are restored now. It just, just came up on cue, so uh, it's been a hell of a bell. All right, so we'll, we'll go back up there. Let's go look. I got... Let's go look, I got four. So it's, yeah, I get four, four of these little foot sloggers. This is what I can't wait for. Yeah. And I've lost armored units. He's lost armored units in the mud. So anyway, we got, we got, we got this deal here with Leningrad. I got to get back in there. Eventually, I'm going to have to put armor. So let's see who's in command here. Yeah, Vorsilov, he's a six. He's an eight. He's an eight. Okay, so. I just brought him up from the Corellian front. I, I had to railroad him. So. Do all these small guys. They're not in the front, I think. Let's see, you're an eight. You're a seven. No, we can redo this. Okay. Eight. So I'm going to have to move you in because I'm going to have a new, newly deployed unit. God. And uh, by the way, when you play this mod, line of sight only goes one hex. Uh, so you can literally walk into ambushes against other infantry is fine. Ambushes against a tank that you don't see is devastating. So, what's the honor Kon Konev? Okay, let's move in, take the spot. I actually want an anti-tank up there, but I got new units coming, but I think we're engaged. <laughs> oh, he came back again. Oh, now he's gonna try to break it here. I've, I've, been, I've had this strong, but I've had to move stuff. Yeah, he's back on me, isn't he? He's back on Varnash. Damn it. I moved off anti-tank to up here to respond to this. Yeah, boy, oh boy. You took some damage, boy. No, okay. Well. Uh, we just gotta, we gotta do what we can. He's pulled back off of here. I could walk in here and there could be an army unit right here. It's almost certainly. Unless he's pulling guys off again. Yeah, I owned Narva. I owned all this. This was fortified. He, he, it took him some time, though. All right, well, let's do this. You do it for experience. I think I'm going to railroad. Maybe not. Not yet. This is dangerous. Now he's shifted again. He was here. He ran into a roadblock. And I have to fill this. And I could only, this is the nearest place. So, what are we going to do, George? I don't know. New units. Let's go see where we can place them. That's a good unit. Yeah, this is a nearest. He, he's going to try to break through here. I got to fill this. So now I got to retreat again. Well, 
let's put you here. Yeah, we're golden here. All right, so hold back. All right. I'm going to move you up again. Oh. Good thing we checked. Get you in here. I do have a spare. Hmm. I think he's given up on Leningrad. He might not. This sucks. Okay. We gotta fix this. <clears throat> we gotta hold it here. Okay, Zukov. How far can you go? Okay, let's redo it, everybody. Whoop. Let's do it this way. Okay. All right, Zukov. Here, so let's go ahead and now yeah I'll have armor I've got armor coming and other units I still got three cores I can play so let's go ahead and reinforce it's gonna cost a lot of money no reason I needed to get the convoy line going okay you're not upgraded let's just go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce you. I could have swapped you. Let's do you. I only got 251 left. Okay. Yep. Hmm. The three cores is all I can go anywhere, so I can stretch. Okay. Reinforce. strike this all right Yeah, I pulled off my, I had three anti-tank anti here. They came back. Shit. We're digging. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's not good. This though. Okay, let's hold off for a second here. 
Okay, let's see who's in control command. Zero seven. Okay, let's redo this. I gotta pull you back. Okay. Yeah, well, command and control. So you're falling back out of there, are you? We got to see what, he, what he's got. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, we might get this. Let's go. Let's go forward. Let's go, boys. There's something here. No, there isn't. Brutal. Tank. No, oh, that's what I meant. Okay. should make something happen. Okay, cancel. This will get his attention. All right, let's see. New units. Cancel this. What's next turn again? These bad boys. I might need them up by Leningrad or Moscow. Then all this. Mm. But with all this heavy combat, I'm going to be able to buy broken units. But we got to see here. This, he still might do something here. I need some weight. I'm going to put this here. He definitely could change his mind. No, this might scare him. Cancel that. Okay, that's fine. Let's get you. Okay. Yeah, and the, uh, these are more robust too. Uh, HQs, and they're cheaper, a lot cheaper. And it's actually good. All right. I might lose Varnash pretty soon. Okay, you. I still got those units up by Canada, Alaska, too. I can bring something down. Hmm. I like to expand in here. Don't know what he's got. Moscow is all important, but so is everything else. God, we could exploit something out of Canto Roroca, especially if we got armor going down here. I 
I'm gonna do that just out of prudence sake. Now, let's see what else we got here. We got these disc damage goods. Let's go ahead and reinforce you. That's one, two. What do you got here? I'm gonna go make a go. Nothing. Okay, let's push on. Okay, that's fine. We could do a cluster of units hit right here if we have to try to break through. So he might persist here. Now I still have a little bit of money left. Uh, we could have this attack. This has been a secondary front. Lots of experience both sides as you can see. All right, I still got 80. Now, <clears throat> okay. We've been going back and forth. He, he was all the way here. I don't really need to press any of this. No. No, we might just reinforce them. Uh, this attacked. Yeah, right. Okay, let's go look, 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 look. I don't. I think we just. These are dangerous, but the weather's crap. Okay, let's see who's in control here. Pavlov's a six. Yeah, he's. They're both dog shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go ahead. No. Okay. I need you in Candalaska. Can you reach? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna send you out. I don't need you out. I can we got Candalaska, I can bring stuff back in. Can we get out? Yes we can. Now this is a mechanized core, it's real important. I put this in the right spot for an attack. I don't, I don't anticipate getting in tit for tats here, but it could really quickly. I got This is where I moved my... He made a push here again, and he got in the tool, and now he holds it. And now he's getting a good supply out of there. That's why we were fighting for that. I need maneuver units, though, and I need to be able to counterattack. I think we can make something here. I'm going to go ahead, and uh, it's kind of out of... Yeah, I'm going to have to get my command and control here situated right now, aren't I? Okay, let's get you here. In just in case there's paratroopers. Okay. I got 53 left. Yes, I do. Okay. Do we really need to do anything? Not really. <clears throat> we could, though. Let's get you on the rail line. Oh. Let's see what supply is going to be like since I did that. Because we were getting... Oh man, cheat of course. Okay, we're fine. So, let's go up. Yeah. Alright. did that dumb attack. No, I didn't. I didn't do a dumb attack. Okay, let's go ahead and reinforce you. Right. Ooh, we got a hit. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Get some experience. That's got to be going. But now, yeah, he can't rail here to Pachanga or Pet Samo. No, well, you can't Avalo. Okay. Crazy, man. Okay, we got... Let's go look at our money. We might be able to do this. We got 207. So, with the Soviets. We just moved you here. Okay. I wonder what's out here. Let's go look. Nothing. I'm gonna have to see what his supply is. A seven. Yeah, that could he could brutalize me. I'm gonna bring this 
back up here and get a good spot in loop area. You, we can upgrade. Yeah. Okay. And aircraft three. 41. All right. Let's see if I lose our experience pay up and down it. Reinforce. 35. Anywhere we want. Let's get you in the fort, or you're worth something. You're on a rail line, so I can get you to rear right this. You're on a rail line. Yeah. I really need to see what's here. Did he pull out all the way? I'll get wrecked if I go in here and it's an armor unit. I need a fighter. Okay, I'll bring planes down. My Air Force got wiped out and I haven't spent money on it. Because I've been spending money on repairing, repairing. That's a hell of a hit, but I don't need to do that yet. No. No. Okay. British money. I'm not going to do research. Yeah, that was that was a bonehead. Oh, I did it. Nothing. Okay, that's granted. Well, Americans. Okay, let's do. This looks promising. I still have 101. So let's re. Oh no, we got to fly you in a. Place where I can upgrade you. That's right. Victoria. Let's see how much this is going to cost. I'm going to go look at the Americans what I got coming in. Yeah, that's okay. Where's the other one? Way south. Garden of Uruguayans, are you? You guys are probably going to go to Italy. How you like that news? Better than going to being sent somewhere else, right? Okay, so uh, the British 207. Let me go in my production queue. Uh, with uh, okay, this is Americans. Yeah, I was gonna do a torch about September, or November, but I got lucky, or it, we we practice on Vigi. Uh, in Senegal and stuff like that, and then the British got Morocco, but we got clear out North Africa a lot earlier. Uh, so, and I got a feeling it was going to take a year to really build force to get into France. We'll go look at France real quick just for cursory. But we got some nice air power coming. So let's go to the British. I don't have a whole lot. Right. Uh, I got, let's see, this is Special Forces. We got sufficient force to get in. Uh, I think I'm going to save my money. I've lost two carriers. Don't really. I don't know if we need those though. Aircraft probably. I don't have the money for. It. I think I'll save our money. Yeah, I think so. No. Yeah, we're gonna. We're just gonna save it. I think that's it, you guys, girls. So that's pretty epic, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, I've been plodding along. This is a little area I can't get into. I, I tried. I said I gave up. I had a unit actually going here and start ran out of supply. I think it was this core. So I got you there. We could send you to Iraq. Let's send you to Iraq. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. These guys only move one hex at a time. You can't, you can't, you can't force march them either. So we'll come in. We should by the time we get here, uh, but we can secure Iraq and we can get the convoy line going again. It went down. I didn't really need to do that, but I want to secure Syria. Uh, let's look at diplomacy here real quick. Turkey, I don't like ten percent, and I think that's it. I'm not looking at any of the reports right now. Like I said, though, we put a cap. So we got hell of a bell. I hope that was a good representation. Uh, I'm going to go. Let 
Yo. Ray, you're on candid camera. So these are real long turns, by the way. I can imagine. I, I couldn't imagine. And this is a test, right? Uh, with the world, I might I, if I do uh, against somebody else on 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 this game, and we do the world version, which will basically be this scale, the entire world, which a lot of people want, and it's going to be divisions and, and cores. I could see doing two parts: one for Asia, one for here, and this for the Allies, particularly Henri, because they're all over the world. But basically, yeah, he's got something. Like I said, there will be a video go up, and it's going to be kind of brief. I'm just going to pretty much give an exciting example, and then this will go up. And uh, so what I think I'll do is I'll do occasionally I'll I'll do uh, recordings as as this war progresses because it's pretty good eventually. But again, again, it is uh, an older version. Uh, we had to put a cap on research because research was going too fast. And uh, but he like I say he fixed that, and he's got a lot of a lot of other uh, tweaks. Some on recommendations of me and Ray and others and uh, uh, Taxman, he who did single player. Uh, this is a multiplayer test. I, I have no idea how the AI works. Uh, you know how how AI play it play is. Except for I did a little minor test just to get feel of the mechanics because infantry is a lot different. Uh, there's a lot of things that are that are that are slightly different. You get used to it. Uh, but hey. Here it, with we the, uh, we not nothing against it, but they had army size units in one hex on a scale this big and it didn't work for me. Now you got an army's like three or four or five cores, right? Ninth army, let's say, and uh, right, it's just a lot more granular, and and you actually will have real front lines like they did. So it's, this this is a strategic command version of Gary Grizzly's War in the East over here. It has been since since Barbarossa, and the lines look pretty damn historic. Uh, except for he, he decided not to go down here again. He, he has really hammered me here, and then I hammered him back in the winter. Got in, I hammered him back in here and got in the rice because he literally had a bowl just like the rice of bowls going to Kalanin. This was difficult, and I sent these guys way out in the here in the dim you know, in the swamps, uh, this whole area here with this HQ to keep it all together. You know, I'm gonna upgrade you since I got the money. Let's do infantry weapons too. It toughens them up. Yeah, I'm mean, intending to do this anyway. There we go, because uh, he's out in the lurch. But yeah, Al Visni Volacek and had to get walk him in, and I just started forming guys here and then walking them through the woods to flank him because he was yeah he was concentrating here to flank uh, uh, Moscow. So when the blizzards came, yeah. He had rice up, and it was a hell of a battle. I got around and finally got in there. I was so happy. And then here too, got in a Kaluga, got in a Tula, because he was literally right. It was, it was, it was scary. It was just to say that. But weather helped, and then uh, I had timely uh, units coming in, including Siberians. So, all right, keep that money for the British. Let's go. So it morale is boosted by the Allied landings in Italy. Uh, I should have checked their national morale. I haven't done it. Again, German design tanks. German design tanks arrive in Romania. Now, there's also a lot of decisions that were crafted by uh, Crispy. 13, 13, 13 was Fall Weiss mod. Uh, yeah. You can buy ships for Romania. And Finland, too. It's just complete. Yes. You can see how important Voronezh is. I can't lose this. This is kind of a void. He can get in there and cut, you know. It's not that. It, 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 he could turn me there, but he could get in trouble too. So, so he Belgium. He's got a hell of a hell of a line. He's starting to build their Atlantic wall, and it looks looks legit, man. Yeah, I wonder how much my convoy income is going to be. Yeah, we got to have to. Poor tails. He had. Uh, he's a little more resilient than I thought. I thought I had him in a bag, man. Not. Not. Not so. His carriers for sure. I. Because I, I snuck this fleet up and then came over out west. I didn't run any of these subs, so I don't know. 
It's been good stuff. USSR declares anti-tank weapons level 4. Oh my god. Yes. I put a lot into that. I got, yeah. So here's our convoy income. So some of it's going through. At one point, zero was coming through, and I had to turn off the convoy. I was losing too much money, uh, which was not good. Anyway, that was August 30th, 1942. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks, Lothos. We've been having a great old time. Again, that was turn 94, August, what, 30th? 94 turns. Just just to let you know, if you play a WA match in 1947, like I have against the Colonel and against Tanaka, that's 101 turns. And uh, so this is a big commitment if you get involved in this, but it's I think it's great. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is Old Girl Bowser. See you on the virtual battlefields. I am gone. <laughs>